Howdy guys, I am Ruru Miki and I am going to be playing a Civilization VI and I'm going to be playing as Cyrus of Persia. This um, DLC just came out and I'm eager to give it a try. I'm going to be playing on Standard Rules and I am only going to be playing it on Prince just because I haven't really played the game a whole whole lot and I haven't played it in three months so I'm going to be a little rusty. Normally I like to play the game on a, a higher speed but for a Let's Play I'm going to do it on quick so there's not as much waiting around. I'll be playing on a small continent and uh, small continents normally I like to go for a larger map but again you know we run into the um, the long load times and stuff right and um, gonna have everything checked off or checked on right here for the victory conditions I usually like to tick off the score victory but again for let's play purposes I am going to put it on so that the game will actually end so I um I did take away one of the AI players because I like to go large and having one less person to keep us cuddly or cuddled together is um, pretty nice for me. So I'm going to go ahead From and... the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization, on towards the stars. Claim the crown, Cyrus, King of Persia, for you are the Anointed One. With immortal soldiers and an unwavering faith, you will conquer and rule the peoples of the world. You may see many alliances forming around you, but do not be fooled. Such is an antiquated and weak way of navigating the world. Make no promise unless it aids you in achieving your goals. I love the little dialogue opening there. So these are the abilities of Persia, which it sounds like going for a culture victory might be pretty good. I'm not really sure what kind of victory I'm going to go for, but it looks like culture might be the best. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're off to a pretty good start. You know, we've got the bananas, the coffee. So let's go ahead and found our first city. And I'm going to have our little warrior here uh, just take a look around. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be clicking a lot. I'm not very good with the whole micro, you know, using the keybinds to move characters and stuff around. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a scout to help look around. And, hmm, I feel like, let's see, I'm not sure what I want to research first. I feel like I want to get this first because I feel like religion is going to be popular, or not popular, important for us. But... Hmm, you know, I, I like to get the little boost f before I start working on that, so, um, I think you can't really go wrong with some mining, um, and it's recommended. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the astrology done. I want to try to get a religion really early. I don't know if I'm going to go for a religious victory or not. I know this difficulty is a little bit more forgiving on, uh, deity. You kind of tend to need to rush just having a bunch of units to defend yourself, but, um, on a lower game, a uh, lower difficulty, the game tends to be a little bit more forgiving. So I'm going to have some units rolling out pretty so oh, we already found a spearman barbarian too. I'm going to stay away from him. I don't think we are uh, ready to take that guy on because so I'm just going to Oh, wow, I hate when that happens, when there's a city-state right there. I'm probably going to end up attacking those people because they're a little too close to me. So we got our scout down, and I'm going to actually start building a slinger so that we can take care of that barbarian encampment over there. Oh my gosh, another city-state. See, um, that's the one thing that kind of, I mean, like, I know you can go take them over and stuff, but I really don't like having to go wipe out these poor city-states. But um, that's one thing I liked about uh, Civilization V, is that they had a map that uh, are like a type of map that would had like additional scripting to keep the um, city states like on their own little islands and stuff and that was my favorite map I'm really disappointed that there's no map like that for civilization 6 that lets you have your city states not be right on your butt right I guess I could have probably looked at the ooh hello <laughs> your soldiers hope your victory over a barbarian outpost is the start of a long line of military successes 
Um, that is one of the cool things about Persia. You get a bit of extra um, movement if you declare a surprise war. Now, I don't really like doing the whole surprise war thing, so I may not be doing a whole lot of that. Oh my gosh, we all just mobbed this poor little barbarian there. I'm just going to go ahead and heal up. And I'm going to have our slinger. Oh, oh, they finally added um, an alert thing. They didn't have this last time I played. So I'm going to go ahead and have our slinger fortify in town just to protect us. And, uh, oh, you discovered another continent. Um, is this a different one? Let's see. Continent Siberia. And we are on what? Um, South America. So right here is where the new continent starts. Good to see they haven't fixed that yet. I'm going to get a, another slinger going, I think. Or should I do a warrior? Hmm. I think I'm going to get another slinger going. And I'm going to try, try to maybe expand down here since I'm probably going to end up taking over the city states once I really get a good military going. I want to get um, some archers before I start attacking the city states, which means, yeah, I probably shouldn't have started with the best, Man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. I love these little quotes. I am. Um, I'm just going to do it for this first playthrough. If I do this ever again, I won't uh, sit there and listen to him. So I'm going to go ahead and do this when fighting barbarians. And I love me. Like, oh no, I want to get the faith because I want a religion. So let's go ahead and do those. Yes. I normally like to... Oh, crud. This is the only thing about moving two tiles at once. I oopsed. All right. I, I'll probably be fine. All right, so we've got this boosted right here, the foreign trade, and then we can make a trader, so um, joint war. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do this just because it's boosted anyway. No reason really not to. And uh, after I get the slinger out, I, I think... I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're skeptical. I love that. It's one of my favorite ones. I think that one's so funny. All right, I um, probably shouldn't have started with... Um, astrology, but uh, we're, 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 we're too, too late to worry about that now. So I think I might do mining. I feel like you really can't go wrong with mining. So let's go ahead and, and you know what? Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. Since I was talking about it, let's go ahead and get the archery thing going. So I should have done that first, but it is what it is at this point. So let's go ahead and keep exploring a little bit, see if I can... Um, I think, <clears throat> sorry, I think that um, I might try to attack this one if he's got a worker I can swipe. And I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm just going to mosey away from the little barbarian encampment here. But yeah, I'm thinking I might build a city like maybe right here-ish might be a good spot. Might, maybe it's a bit too close. I think it's a bit too close, actually. All right, choose a pantheon. All right, I haven't looked at these in a hot minute, so give me a second. Like I said, I haven't played this game in about three months. I was a little underwhelmed with the game when it first came out, to be perfectly honest. This seems really good for me right now because I've got a lot of the uh, the coffee, but I, I don't know. Let's see. I like to have something, like I really like to get something that's going to be good for the long haul. Like I really like doing the border expansion or the city growth. I think I'm going to do the border expansion because I like to go wide. So let's go ahead and do that one. All right, good. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and work toward a religion. Now, i am kind of got a couple of choices here. I can go ahead and work on the settler and build down here and go ahead and get a city going. Or I can maybe work on a holy site. And, you know, when you're playing on quick, everything take, doesn't take as long. But, you know, you have to remember the UI or the AI is going quick, too. So, hmm, I've got my extra slinger. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and get a settler going so I can have an early city. I like to I like to expand early, and with the lower difficulty, I think I have the luxury of doing that. So I might as well, and I'm going to go take a peek over here. And it looks like he's got a b big fat builder. I might go try to take that away from him. I know it's kind of cheesy, but eh, it is what it is. I plan on taking him over at some point anyway. Oh, whoops. Um... Okay, oh no, I did, alright. My bad. Um, I played a lot of Civ 2, Civ 3, Civ 4, and Civ 5, and I'm still not really the best at these games. They're very fun, and I am very bad at them. But, I, oh, here we go. This is probably, I, I probably shouldn't because he's got the warrior, the city, and the slinger right here. 
Um, I probably really shouldn't attack him just yet. Um, I can probably bring this guy up here to help out a little bit, and I think I actually will, so let's move these guys around. Um, I, I, I didn't really think this through before I decided to do it, so I'm going to just scout the area around here real fast while my slinger's coming up here. I'm not really... I'm not really... Oops. Oh, okay, cool. I'm not really thinking through what I want to do very well. I'm very sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I, I love these games. I've never been great at them, but they are always a lot of fun. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and declare war on this guy and take his work or his builder here. All right, and we're going to send that back home to us, and I can make peace with uh, candy <laughs> in uh, ten turns here. So I, I plan on doing that. Oh my gosh, look, I'm completely surrounded by city-states. I, I see that they added the option to lower the amount of city-states, and I really considered doing it, and I was like, no, city-states are too useful to reduce the amount of, but, well, here we are. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die... I want to go where they went. Exactly. I like that one. That's a good one. All right. So let's um let's link these together, and I'm just gonna uh, oh whoops I'm trying to attack with a builder whoops. All right. So I'm really tempted to attack their slinger, but then the war this upgraded warrior is gonna get me. So I'm gonna move this way, and I'm probably gonna get hit. But I'm going to bring my slinger up here to help out in case that happens. I think I'll be fine, though, because, like I said, lower difficulty. Hope, really banking on the AI being a little bit more derpy. I mean, the AI in this game, again, like I said, haven't played it in a few patches. But the AI in this game is abysmally stupid. Like, infuriatingly stupid. Every nation lives by exchanging. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay. So 100% naval units, uh, trade routes, production. All right. So I got the, hmm, I'm going to keep the faith thing going on or do I want the production? I really want the production right now. So I'm going to uh, probably build a holy site really soon so I can worry about getting a religion. All right. So here's the oracle policy. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to get improve three tiles. I need to I need to make a builder. Hmm. All right, I'm going to do this just because I have it boosted. I hate doing things when I'm not they're not boosted. I feel like it's a waste. Oh, this guy's all right. The AI seems like it got a little bit smarter here. They've got a little formation going on. Um, they're kind of I'm going to have to run this way away from them and heal up because I don't think I can take on both of them, which really sucks because my city's down here, but. You know, that's, I guess that's what happens when you're over here messing around with stuff you're not supposed to be messing around with. Got some, ch uh, I'm about to say chocolate, some cocoa there. Alright, let's hit the next turn. And after I spit out the settler, uh, I guess I'm going to need to make some archers and help, uh, help me defend here. Uh, but I also want to... See, I start having to make all these decisions and I get overwhelmed. Okay, the AI is definitely smarter than it was. See how he keeps advancing toward me? Before, they would usually kind of wa wander against you and then... Or wander toward you, then wander away, then wander toward you, and then wander away and do all this really, really goofy stuff. So, oh geez, I gotta stop moving two tiles at once. It's gonna be the death of me. It really is. I gotta go one tile at a time and see what's gonna be there. I'm gonna have to deal with this barbarian encampment pretty soon because I left my slinger. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I brought my slinger up here. Here, let's take their slinger out. All right. And let's link with this. I'm going to leave my capital undefended, but I think I'm fine for now. And let's see, one, two, three. So if I put a city here, it's going to be too close. Hmm. I'm thinking, I guess, maybe more down here. I'm thinking like right here where the river is would be good. And I don't think it's too close to that other place. So let's go for there. Hopefully there's not too many barbarians along the way. And... Oh gosh, I can make a trader. Oh, I really need to get the holy site, but my t uh, city's undefended here. I got an archery in three turns because I'm apparently not going to boost it in time. Um, <laughs> choices. All right, well, I can't leave myself undefended, undefended so I'm going to build a warrior. And then I'll work on the holy site next. And we have... Is it, what is this fellow? Is this another city-state? Or is this a real person? Hold on. Oh, okay, it is a city-state. I wasn't sure. All right, let me close that off. All right. 
a lot of city states in this area i can i can tell you that much i think there's supposed to be nine well half of them have my city surrounded but to be fair i'm playing on a smaller map or a small map so hard to tell how far i'm gonna get i do i'd like to have an Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're working me over here. All right, let's get these guys going over here. I probably should have woke them up last turn. Oh, man. Mistakes were made. Okay, I'm going to actually... Actually, I'm going to heal with the... Where's the... You used to be able to... Can you still do it? Huh. You used to be able to use your promotion to heal yourself, and I don't see the option to... Maybe I'm really blind, but... Um, or I'm getting confused. I thought you could heal yourself with your promotion. Um, hmm. Okay, let me move away. I'm probably gonna lose my my slinger there. I've 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 messed up. Oh, I made a mistake. All right. Oh. We are by the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, and soon, dare I say, the Empire. All right, so we met our first civilization. That's pretty cool. I like that they did Victoria. It's an honor to meet you. Um, she, in interest of our political relationship, we would like to know more about your capital in exchange for information on ours. Exchanging information, yes, yeah, sure, why not? All right, Eureka. Oh my gosh, I'm really impressed with the AI in this game. It's actually not pants on head, you know, kind of special. Can I, can I make peace yet? Three, t three more turns. All this for a builder. I, I wasn't expecting it. I was thinking the AI would just kind of derp out in a corner over there, not chase me to the ends of the earth. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> See that um, it's good that they made improvements on the AI because, as I was saying, it used to be infuriatingly stupid. Um, you know, like a lot of the. Um, I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. All right. So we finally got these. I can't change my government style just yet, so I don't really have a whole lot of use for that. I'm going to keep... Hmm, yeah, I'm going to keep up what I'm, I'm doing. So let's keep that. Let's move these guys away from the very angry city-state. I think I can make peace in another turn or two. All right, we're going to fortify our warrior here and keep exploring with this guy. I might automate. In fact, can I automate him right now? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and automate him so it's one less thing I have to do. And... All right, I guess let's do this, and let's build that holy site I've been talking about. I really need a builder, but I really need a holy site. So let's put that here by the mountains. And can I just, like, let's see. I, I'm just going to purchase a builder so I can improve these tiles. I probably should have done that several gold ago, but um, let's see. This is a uh, industrial... I don't know if how much they've cha if, if they've changed this. All right, I'm gonna put one there so I can get this culture in the capital. I, I, like I said, I might go for a culture victory, so that might be nice for me. I don't really know for sure yet, and gonna hopefully skirt past this spearman and horse. I horseman. shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. All right, finally got archery. Really looking forward to that one. That's gonna make things a lot easier and. I'm sorry. Oh, one more turn. All right, one more turn. All right, so I got my builder, and I'm going to go ahead and... What should I do first? Oh, I don't have the... All right, I'm missing a lot of the things that I need. I'm... Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, guys. I haven't played in a long time. I didn't even think about... Um, having the research for all I'm I'm putting the cart before the horse here. I'm so worried about developing my area that I don't have the technology to actually develop it. So, I'm going to have to get uh, irrigation before I even worry about all that stuff. Let's go ahead and make peace with these guys. Sorry about Jack and your builder. Believe me, it wasn't worth it. I have immense regrets over over it. I lost a slinger. I basically exchanged a slinger for a builder, and they take about the same amount of turns. So yeah, basically everything was a colossal waste of time. I'm I'm really embarrassed by that. I know that was bad, but like I'm gonna say it again. I haven't played in a few months. I'm not really making the best, and I haven't ever recorded it. I'm not making the best choices, as you can tell. I'm about to get destroyed. Um, it's definitely a quick lesson on um, 
how I now know the AI isn't complete garbage like it used to be. So let's keep running from these guys. Hopefully my slinger can stay alive long enough to... I want to go right about here, so... Hopefully I still can. I'm going to have to do something about these barbarians really soon. And then someone built Stonehenge? I'm over here just trying to stay alive. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this AI is deserves running... deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? I can't believe this AI is running me down into the ground so hard. I was still expecting it to be so dumb. I'm really... I guess impressed with it. Can I, um, okay, I can't build a city this turn. I hopefully can stay alive one more turn. Alright, so, um, what do I need? I need irrigation. So let's do irrigation. And build my holy site, and I don't know what I want to do after that. There we go, good. And hopefully, I'm really hoping my slinger here stays alive. Yeah, I can't do anything. Can you... Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm cringing. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship. And gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. <laughs> Cute. Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna do this so I can get some units. Actually, should I keep that since I'm mobbed with barbarians? No, I need the production. And, um, alright, that looks good. Let's keep that up. Yep. And let's go ahead and build our city right here. And upgrade to Archer, yes. And, um, uh, can you heal yourself or something? Let's just, uh, 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 fortify. I don't really know what to do. I'm, I'm kind of a little, I'm a little, sh little ra uh, shake, shaken up because I'm worried about this barbarian situation. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how bad I'm doing. I don't know which one of these I even want. Let me look down here. Oh, this is the one that, uh, okay, I need to go for this. This is the Persian thing. All right, let's, so we've got our holy site built. So we're getting our religion on. And I, hmm... I want to build a trader and help kind of fund or get this city going, but I also need to build some units to deal with the barbarian situation. So I'm going to go ahead and build some archers to deal with the barbarian situation first. And for here, I'll actually have, hmm, what should I do? I think I'm actually going to have them build the trader since I need it on both of them. And for the builder over here, I'm working toward... Oh, I can go mine that one. I'll go mine that. And maybe by the time this builder finally gets over here, I'll have irrigation learned. And our city right here is really going to start growing. Alright, so I did um, random sieves, so I don't know who all I'm against. Looks like one of our friends is going to be Japan, which uh, it's an honor to meet you. And let's exchange some information. All right, so Japan is here and England is here. So we're all really close by one another. And where did the barbarian go? Did it? I didn't see what I have quick combat on. Did they impale themselves on my city, I guess? I Maybe they flew or decided to go, um, I was going to say fly off, but I guess they went back to their hut there. So that's fine. I can, let's have you do the garrison. And, oh, promoting them heals them. That's what it is. Oh, my gosh. I could have saved my slinger. I thought that you could use a promotion instead on um, healing people. Um, I don't know if I'm mistaken or if that's something that was changed or if I'm getting confused with Civ 5. No <gasps> man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Exactly. So, all right, looks like I'm getting invaded really hard here. So let's, all right, we took that guy out. I think we're going to be fine, honestly, but I don't know. Let's keep, I, gosh, I got so much to worry about now. Um, all right, so we got an archer. Let's get, we've got a warrior over here. I feel like I need to build like one more archer. So let's get that going. And let's send our archer down here to start dealing with these barbarians. And once I drop my builder off here, I'm going to send my other warrior down there too. And maybe start looking for a third city. I tend to sacrifice a lot of the building stuff so I can... Oh, crap! Okay, this guy's really close. Alright, let's build the mine. 
and let's put hmm okay oh it's just a scout okay I'm fine I'm fine I'm freaking out for no reason okay <laughs> everything's making me freak out now all right so I'm gonna leave this guy on alert in case more barbarians come back and let's move these guys toward the scout see if that'll I don't really know how this guy's gonna behave the AI is acting much you different tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies well I like to s um, it's good to see that the sieves still hate you for pretty much any reason. I don't even know what her problem is with me. Like, she, it says she's unfriendly. Um, unknown reason, alright. People people still hating because they want to hate, I guess. Um, he's got a little exclamation mark, I guess. Oh, barbarians have spotted your city. Hmm. I think we're pretty well... F I'm, I might... I think I'm going to build another archer just in case. My gold situation's fine. And I'm going to leave my archer to defend the city here. And let's have you do a... Like I said, guys, I, I click on everything. I know that's probably maybe a little bit annoying, but that's just how I play. I'm very sorry. <laughs> so, alright, we got our warrior builder from... 20 turns ago, finally getting close. Oh my gosh, we're already 10% of the way done with the game. I gotta step it up here if I'm gonna win. Oh. Okay. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. It's some food for thought. Alright, so I usually like to get this colonization thing, but again, I like what's going on, so hopefully I'm, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get another government type soon that gives me more slots. So I'm going to unlink these guys, and let's bring the builder over to, let's see, I got three more turns for irrigation, so I'm going to probably do like these bananas here, and then, you know, I'll get the coffee, so I... That'll be fine. I should probably have sent him down there, but this is such a war zone between here and there that I figure I'll worry about it later. I want to know where that scout ran off to. Alright, so this was on alert, and it woke up, and I don't really see anything to be worried about, so I'm going to put him back on alert, and yeah, everything looks gravy right now. Here we go. Here's the problem. Okay, so I'm wondering if that scout is maybe connected to that one, or if there's another barbarian hut somewhere over here? I don't know. Alright. Alright, now I can maybe relax a little bit. I don't know, I kind of... Hmm, I kind of want to build a bigger military to take out these before they become too much of an issue, but I also want to keep expanding. I think I'd like to build a city over here, but I don't know what all is in that way. So I'm gonna build a... I'm gonna build a... I'm going to build another archer, and then I'm going to build a settler to go over there. So this archer, I'm going to send with these guys to figure out where the scout's headed to. Because since this guy's weak, the archer is going to be able to take him out. See, this is why I was trying to get the archers. I think they're just so strong in the early game. Especially at dealing with the barbarians. Oh, okay, here's the hut that they that's over here. All right, I'm going to have to deal with that. Alright, a lot of problems. See, civilization isn't so much you're building a civilization as you're just solving tons and tons of problems. You know, and I'm going to have to deal with this AI that already hates me. I guess because I'm building too, toward too much. Alright, so I'm going to start working on that settler to bring somewhere over there to the west of me. And I'm going to have to deal with all of these barbarians. So let's bring the archer over here and start shooting away. We've got this river here, so we're going to have a penalty, so I'm actually going to sit here and sink in. And if he wants to attack me over the river, he's going to hurt for it, not me. And, alright, I'm going to have this archer is going to go with the settler to wherever I go next. I'm just going to have him hang out here on the side. And i got to wait another couple of turns for the irrigation, so I'm just going to have you skip a turn. But yeah, I'm still not sure what kind of victory type I want to go for. I think I'm going to be going for a cultural one. Uh, the religion thing's not really working out for me just yet because I've already... I already screwed up a lot early game. And the thing with the sieve on higher difficulties is if you screw up your early game, you're pretty much screwed the rest of the game. And even though I made the lot of... Thousands have lived without love. Not one 
without water. Okay. And but you know, with the lower difficulty like I'm on, the, you know, I can bounce back from making those mistakes. So, that's what I plan on doing at this point is just trying to recover from the dumb things that I did earlier like with the builder and stuff, right? And I mean, it's just part of it, right? I um I'm sure, you know, we'll... Oh. Oh, okay, okay, I got, sorry. The little pop-ups seem like they just come so suddenly. I'm like, what's wrong? Are you going to talk to me? All right, so let's, um, let's get this. I, I don't know what I want to do now. I, I think the walls would be nice because of how many barbarians there are. Uh, I would, I'd really like any of this, basically. So I think I'm going to go for the things that are already boosted. Um, hmm. The water mill would be really nice since I've got two cities on rivers, so I think I'm going to go for the wheel here. And, um, yeah, you know, I just looked down on my clock and I've already been playing for 30 minutes. I can't believe it. It's, you know, you know how Civ goes. You sit down to play it and then eight hours go by and it's like, what, I just started playing. But, uh, I think I've got to be done with playing Persia for now, guys. Um... Or not Persia. Well, yeah, Persia. Cyrus of Persia. It's just that you call it Babylon, too, but whatever. Um, let's see how I'm doing here. I'm apparently leading in everything. So, oh, there's an unmet player with a little bit of a higher score. It's pretty close, though. I'm not going to have to worry about Victoria too much, but there's this person here that might be a bit of trouble. So, we'll have to see how it goes more next time, though. Thank you guys so much for watching my first episode of my Cyrus playthrough in Civilization VI. And I'll be back soon because I just love Civ and I'm going to make, I want to make more episodes of this. This is fun. I'm having a good time now that I've been away from it for a while and get to try out the um, new patch. But anyway guys, I'm done for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.